Good evening, board. My name is Scott Weinberg. I have two kids in the district. A couple weeks ago, I attended the Chandler Unified Board meeting where three brave teachers spoke out against the Corwin Deep Equity and Youth Equity Stewardship Programs. I wanted to read a few of their comments for you tonight. One teacher said, when the program was first introduced two years ago, it was very subtle, but as it developed, I began to realize its insidious ideology. I believe that this program is extremely damaging and greatly influences the work environment, creating hostility among teachers and students alike. This hostility is embedded within the curriculum of Corwin and is even present in the YES curriculum given to the students. A second teacher raised multiple concerns, and I quote, first, although the program claims to promote inclusion and diversity, it actually does the opposite by focusing on race, ethnicity, religion, gender, and sexual orientation. It encourages students to cultivate an us versus them mentality. Second, it's political, founded in an ideology called critical race theory, which is based on the concepts of white privilege and white supremacy. Finally, the manual used for instructing deep equity site trainers contains alarming directives, including strategies for dealing with resistance. The resistance is anyone who disagrees with the program and its theories. On page 257, the manual instructs facilitators to recognize resistors and essentially call out any colleagues who have a different opinion. A third teacher said the deep equity program quote, sows nothing but seeds of discord and strife. Several times I've witnessed teachers' religious, political, and personal views attacked, ridiculed, and dismissed as white privilege by their colleagues. He went on to say that the Youth Equity Stewardship Program was designed to, quote, destroy the very relationships that I work hard to build with my students. He concluded by asking, how can a student have a relationship with me if they see me as an oppressor? Now, I know at least one Kyrene teacher preparing to file a complaint against the district for the very same concerns cited by the Chandler educators. I encourage any Kyrene teacher who wants to complain but is afraid of retaliation to contact me via email at kyrene4p at gmail.com. I will keep your identity a secret and I will read your statements at future board meetings. In closing, I encourage this board to cancel the Corwin programs immediately. Thank you and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Weinberg. Next up is Michael Alexander.